Hi, I'm Dr. Tala. I've been a neonatologist for 16 years. Today is a quick one. We're going to cover 10 tips of why you might not be getting your neonatal spinal tap. So let's get started. Number one, the baby is fighting you too much and clenching up and there's no gap between the spinous processes. So what do you do? Make the baby more comfortable, whether that's with medications or non-pharmacological methods, so that there is a way that you can actually hold the baby better. Two, you seem to be between the spinous processes, but not completely in the middle of the back. You're either too high or too low. In this situation, we're too high and you're missing the canal. Check that the baby is not rotated and look where you've stuck. Does it align with the middle of the back? I like to use the gluteal cleft as a landmark as well. And you can see quite clearly here that this needle is too lateral. Three, your entry point may be okay, but you're angling the needle wrong. Make sure that the needle stays parallel to the surface. So you're aiming it towards cephalad, so towards the umbilicus or the head. You're not angling it towards one of the shoulders like that, where you have it at an angle from the surface that you're on. Four, you've pushed the needle in too far or not far enough. In a term newborn, that's about one to 1.5 centimeters. In a preemie, it's just under one centimeter. So between 0.75 to one. There is an equation, but it's kind of ridiculous. Pull out the needle or push it in slightly further. Remember, if you're moving it more than one to two millimeters, then always put the stylet back in. Five, there is blood dripping out, but it doesn't seem to be clearing up. Most likely you're in too far. Pull the needle out just a little bit and see if that helps. Six, you're hitting bone. Most likely you're hitting the superior aspect of the spinous process. Take your needle out a little bit and then just readjust it at a more upright angle. So instead of going in kind of like that, you turn it around a little bit more and you put it at a larger angle like that. Seven, there is a clot somewhere in the line in the needle and the fluid won't flow. There isn't a lot to do here, but take the needle out and try again. If you think that the clot is right there at the hub of the needle, then sometimes you can use kind of the stylet just to try and see if you can get that flowing and let it all kind of start coming out that way. Eight, you feel like you're in the right place, but the CSF isn't flowing. Slowly turn the needle around in a circle. Maybe the bevel was pointing in the wrong direction or it was up against some of the spinal roots. Sometimes that's enough to get it flowing. Sometimes gently rubbing on the fontanelle as well can help. Nine, let's say you've tried a couple of times and it's not working in this decubitus position. Try sitting the baby upright. This position widens the gap between the spinous processes and it will make it a lot more likely that you're in the midline, you're not going too lateral. And it has been shown to decrease the rate of missed taps. One study in patients done above 27 weeks showed this position is superior to the decubitus. But just remember that in the tiny babies, it hasn't really been proven one way or the other. 10, you've tried everything and you still really need this tap. Sometimes we just stop and we just choose to treat the baby for 21 days for meningitis, we can't get it. But if you still really need it, you can get help with fluoroscopy or maybe with an ultrasound to guide you.